Okay, so in this video, we learn about card conditional offer. The card conditional offer is basically used based on the card conditional and it applies the discount on card subtotal. So for example, if X product is in the card, then it will apply the discount. If X product is not in the card, then apply the discount with the card subtotal. So just make sure this particular offer is apply the discount on card subtotal, not with the card line item. So let's go for that and create a card conditional offer. Here you just need to add like card conditional one offer name and here you can see apply all products. So like if any product is in the card, then it just check the condition and apply the discount. Now for particular tasting, I'm just creating one offer with one product is in the card, then apply the discount like that. So I just choose this product, add it in my cart and you can see here the select discount check is like cart total after other discount is applied, cart total before the discount is applied and cart on count only non discounted products. It means like when I select this cart total after other discount is applied and with this offer uh, with this particular app we have a different offer active at the same time with the automatic so for example if you have a volume offer a bogo offer and the card conditional offer okay so if your card is eligible for the card conditional volume and bogo offer for example my subtotal is 1000 and after discount apply of volume and bogo my subtotal is 800 so it apply only the discount on 800 Okay, so that is the card total after other discount is applied. Now, card total before other discount is applied, it means my card total is 1000 and after discount other offers, the card total is 800. Even if the card total is 800, but if you select card total before the discount apply, then it will apply the discount on 1000, not on 800. Okay, and count only non discounted product. It means like whatever the card total uh, card is there the total whatever the total is there but it applies the discount only of non discounted product okay with the line item so that is three options currently i just choose this one and here is a behavior like stack and terminate the stack behavior means multiple card conditional offer is apply on the card page if that is the minimum spend is uh, eligible or uh, for example if uh, Mean, uh, different condition is true with the different offers then it apply all that offers at together with the card okay so here i prefer to go for the terminate mode and uh, with terminate mode it's like only one card conditional offer is apply if one condition is true and if other condition is false then it apply only one discount if, if two condition is true then it apply the last condition with whatever is preferable and go for the discount for that particular offer not the other one okay so that is the behavior stack and terminate now discount limitation uh, limitation check here discount will apply when this above product is in the card so it means like if this product is in the card then it apply, it apply the discount and if i choose here discount will apply when above product is not in the card it means like if this product is not in the card then this particular offer is apply so currently i choose here this one and here I just make it like 20% off okay then all conditions one and minimum spend of for example 300 okay so now minimum spend of 300 I will get 20% off if this particular product is in the cart so that is the offer now let's go for taste this offer So you can see in my cart I have two products and my cart subtotal is 200 but I cannot get any kind of discount because uh, it is not eligible like I, I have minimum spend of 300. So let me just go for the 300 now and now also I am not eligible for the discount because that X product is not in the cart as per the offer condition. Okay, so I'm just going for the add that product in my cart now searching the product and here is the product okay now i add this product in my cart and go for the cart and now you can see it apply the discount cc1 on that particular product 
particular card subtotal not with the line item just make sure it's not apply just for this card but it apply on card subtotal as you can see i have 20 percent off with my offer okay it's a 20 percent off so it apply 500 with 20 percent and with subtotal so you can see here 100 is there but it's apply the discount on subtotal with the card okay so i hope that is clear now let me just go for the one quantity here or let me remove one product from the card okay now you can see here i have 200 so it display here a message that add 100 more for get 20 percent off because my card is eligible that x product is in my card but my subtotal is not match so it display a top bar message here if you want you can just move this message from top bar to just above the checkout as well using the uh, support or you can just go for the help instruction where you can just get that how can you move this top bar from top to bottom okay so that is the option here so it display based on this one that and when i remove this okay then also it will display the message like add more 200 to get 20 percent off like this so that is a cool feature from our site that uh, it is uh, asking user to go for the more spend to get 20 percent off okay now let me just add that two quantities from the cart and eligible for the discount okay so now you can see 300 and i get the discount now uh, as per the offer you can see here uh, it's in or out so i just make it as a in now if i make it as a out and update it so currently my offer as you can see here this product is in the cart so it is not apply any kind of discount with the subtotal because the condition is not match because it's out of the product now so it's if the product is not in the cart then I will get the discount so i have to remove this product and make it here three quantities and refresh the card and you can see now the discount is apply okay now with this particular offer uh, you can create a different offers for example uh, if someone spend 100 then get 10 percent off if someone spent 200 then 20 percent off and if someone spent 300 then 30 percent off if you want to create an offer like this then you have to create three card conditional offer let's do it and taste it as well okay so uh, here you can see i have already one offer and just let me make it as all products instead of single particular one okay and now set it as a terminate mode and now 10 percent off here with minimum spend of 100 so that is the one offer cc 10 percent i just update the value so it can be easy to understand cc 10 percent off okay i create another offer that is cc 20 percent off and here all product card conditional here just make sure your behavior is terminate if you make it as a stack behavior and if my card has 300 spend then it will apply 10 percent plus 20 percent plus 30 percent okay and if you go for the terminate mode then if my card value is 300 then it apply only 30 percent and rest of the two offer is terminated okay so just make sure for that you are just set it here terminate mode for this kind of offer now here 20 percent off and minimum spend of 200 save it now another offer with the card conditional which is for the 30 percent okay so cc 30 percent off all behavior terminate make it here 30 percent and here we can just make it like 300 spend 300 spend okay save it so now uh, based on this offer uh, you can see here i have different offers with 
this one 100 200 and 300 and all with the terminate mode so let's go for the testing this offer i have only one product in my cart okay refresh the cart and you can see here the cc10 is apply and it will display a message that add more 100 for 20 percent off okay so let me just make it as a two quantity here now you can see it's a cc 20 percent off because my card subtotal is 200 and it display a message add more 100 to get 30 percent off so let me make it as a 300 and now you can see my subtotal is 300 so it apply the cc 30 and the top bar is removed i hope this uh, is a good card conditional offer for you as per the behavior of stack and terminate and the top bar options so user can go for a uh, spend more and get more discounts with the message or you can uh, just go for the make the conditions with the card like if x product is in the card or x product is not in the card then get the discount if you have any other help about the card conditional offer then you can just connect with us our support team will definitely help you for that thank you